Well, with a Bachelor in Wine Science and Viticulture and having worked across all areas of winemaking in some of the most well-known wineries both here and in France, he knows a thing or two about a good vintage. To tell us more about his debut book, 100 Great New Zealand Wineries, please welcome to the cafe Douglas Rennell. Welcome. Yes. Um, I've been having a click through this. It is great. So welcome back to New Zealand. So you're currently working in France. What are you doing over there? I'm working as an assistant winemaker in the Médoc, which is just north of Bordeaux. Uh, it's in an appellation called Saint-Julien, and it's for a good chateau called Chateau Langlois, Livre Baton. And uh, yeah, it's a great experience wow. so far. Wow. Yeah. So is that quite, a, what, quite an unusual thing for a foreigner to be working in there? Yes, it's very difficult, mainly because they only speak French in the cellar. So. It was a huge challenge, but uh, that definitely limits uh, foreigners coming in. So how's your French? Je parle un petit peu français maintenant. Yeah, so. fluent. Oh, yes. oui, he's quite good. <laughs> he's very good. OK, well, let's talk about this book, because I'd like to call this my to-do list. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is just go through this book and tick off each great wine winery that you've visited. Um, so what inspired you to write it? Uh, while I was studying and working, I just realised I wanted to see more of New Zealand's uh, regions and and visit the, the top wineries in New Zealand. You know, you get to, yeah, you get to read a lot about it. So it was just a, a mission that I wanted to do and, and uh, it's been a great experience. Yeah. What a great mission to do as well. So you've, you've covered off all the wine regions in New Zealand, but you can't put all the wineries in there, obviously. So how did you know, or how did you <laughs> yeah. choose which ones? <laughs> it was really tough. You just, you know, after, after five or six years, I got to read a lot about the history and, and taste a lot of wines and you just get the gist about which ones are, have a great history and, and which ones make some really good wine and, and the people, of course. So. I've often wondered this, Douglas, how much is it when it comes to the setting? Is that important or is it the wine that's important? Because you could have a great setting but average wine. So, you know, how do you balance that out? It's a, another good question. I think uh, I tried to balance it out over the, the whole of New Zealand and uh, take into consideration the, the cellar door, the winery, as well as the wines. The wines are definitely the most important, but. Uh, it definitely taken everything into consideration. Yeah, it's a whole experience, isn't it? Yeah, You've got one of my favourites in here, Man of War, and I think why I like it so much is the fact that the wine's really nice, but I go down there on our boat, the oh. bottom end of Waiheke, and it's so much fun. It's like that whole pleasurable experience. Lovely. Did you discover some unusual histories or practices when you were doing your research? Oh, definitely. In, in New Zealand, um, the biodynamic kind of uh, way of making wine, like um, I can give you some examples, Milton and Gisborne and, and uh, Pyramid Valley down in, down in Waipara, their approach to winemaking, I think, is, is very interesting. And I think uh, that's where the future's going, as well as organic. So that was definitely one of the highlights. Mm. Yeah. And some beautiful photos in this book. Is it true that you learned to take photos yourself for this book? Yeah, I, I had to learn how to use a DSLR. It's just one of those big cameras. And um, hopefully I, I improve over the years. It's a oh, work you're an progress. overachiever. Yeah. Yeah. How, long did, <laughs> You've how, done great. how long did it take to actually get, do the, all the research? Um, probably since... Uh, since 2011, wow. uh, gathering photos and information, the profiles for the wineries and update, updating it because the industry is very dynamic and yeah. yeah, that's been a challenge to keep on, on top of that. And the fact that you're living overseas as well. Oh, just for the last six or seven months. So. Yeah. Okay, Douglas, some tough questions. Do you have a favourite wine and a favourite winery? I try to shy away from that, but yeah. um, it's I like definitely... like asking your favourite child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that is, hard that questions is. here at the cafe. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's many great wines in New Zealand. Uh, I can give you some examples. There's great Syrahs on Waiheke Island mm -hmm. and uh, some good uh, Bordeaux blends down in, in, in Hawke's Bay as well as some really good Sauvignon Blancs. And, and Marlborough I could go on and on. And, and of course, uh, Central Otago, Pinot Noir. Mm. Mm. Why do you think we're so good at making wine here? I think it's our viticulture, like um, the soil profiles, as well as the climate. Um, the terroir, as they say in France, is very good in New Zealand. And I think uh, the world's catching on and I uh, only see it uh, improving and getting more global. Yeah. OK, well, this is a great book. As I said, it's kind of like a to-do list, OK? So I reckon everybody should get this book and then just tick off every winery that Douglas talks about. It'll take you a while and you will enjoy it, trust me. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thank yeah, you so thanks. much for joining us. Thank you. And best of luck with the rest of your travels. Cheers. 100 Great New Zealand Wineries is out right now and it's available from where all good books are sold.